Red is um, unfolding very slowly in Tanzania, like uh, many other countries in Africa. And Tanzanians still are forming up all these institutions and laws. They don't have yet something on the, on the, on the paper or how they're going to, to work with RED, um, how they're going to implement projects. Most of the funding is coming from donor support, from the Norwegian support on RED and is implemented, I think, in about nine sites in Tanzania, or nine uh, called um, NGOs, um, non-government organizations. And the government side, they uh, developed what they call the National Red Strategy and has gone through several stages, I'm sure, not by now. So they keep reviewing it to the point where they'll come up to the final document and then maybe move forward with other, with other things. I joined uh, C4 three months ago, but at that time C4 had already collected data, uh, what they call baseline um, data, uh, last year. Um, and these were data, household data, women survey data, uh, village uh, um, data, and proponent some of the of the more baseline stuff on where before the, the, the RED has actually been studied and implemented last year. And this year I came on board to first take over on what they call survey um, project implementation. It's like a phase two of after the baseline, trying to find out what is happening on the implementation side, talking to proponents um, and, and asking all sorts of questions um, on, on how they're going to calculate like reference levels, how, how they're going to, what's the perceptions of red and opinions of different people, critics, government um, uh, officials, and then figuring out from the village, village meetings uh, where where are they with RED, what they've done so far, um, from all the process of um, uh, FP to whether they've done, set up the, the, the carbon monitoring plots and, and the like. Well, the experience has been great. Um, to, to me, I call it like a currency of buying something. Like, it's, to me, it's an exchange. Um, just like in Brazil, uh, but in Tanzania, it's the same. We are the first, or CIFO is the first organization ever to go back returning the finding of, a, of, um, of um, uh, research. Um, they've si they said, what, are you crazy? Uh, we've never seen somebody uh, <laughs> bring back the results. I mean, what is that for? We don't even know what to do with it. And then at the beginning, they were like, wow, listen, it's interesting. We'd like to hear more. Can you ask other people so to come and do and present their findings? And I'm like, I can't, I can't control what other people are doing, but this is a for um, way of doing business. And we're going to probably continue with this um, um, atmosphere of returning the, the findings. And, and to me, it was more easy to ask more questions after presenting the findings, and, and it can't be, can be any better. First, uh, it depends on whether it's rained or not. <laughs> you need a 4x4 four four in Tanzania in most parts of the area. But you just go there, arrange meeting, tell, inform the, the, the government, the, the village uh, leaders about who are intending to come and what's your intention and you know, explain more a little bit um, that you're going to present the findings. The findings are going to be from the previous study. You're not seeking any new answers or something like that. You're thinking to just give that back as a, um, a token of appreciation to them. And you go and call up a village meeting. Um, most of the time we get help from the, what they call the village executive officer, arranging all the people. And you get this big meeting where everybody is, is not expecting to see you there. And then at the beginning, the atmosphere is very cool. But once you finish, you actually realize that they were interested to, to because there's a rain of, of um, questions coming and, and, and people really wanted to know more about C4, about what they're doing, what is read, um, what, about the findings we found and whether they're useful, what we're going to do with the data in the future. And so all sorts of things. And, and, and to me, they were more interested. Sometimes they sing you a song, they, they ask even about, they crack a joke and it has been a really easy atmosphere to, to, to go back to, especially when you're returning the, the finding before asking new questions. You be as simple as, as possible. Um, I, I, 
I can talk about all the jargons and all the acronyms at CIFO, but I really simplify when I'm with the villager, and that's the key. You probably don't mention percentage when you're presenting data. You just say majority and give an estimate of something, uh, a closer rela uh, estimate of what you want to say. And that's the villagers understands more than just figures and numbers. Uh, and, and you have to be very careful with that. The simplicity is what matters there.